10th, 10, 8, uh, 14, 10. So 14th and 10th basically, okay. Hold on, I moved on to the okay so you can see very clearly what has happened it's come forward yeah you can see that uh, i'm going to show you the exact measurements do you remember how many millimeters you wanted that to be eight to nine yeah point eight centimeters correct So those are the screws and this is the cut. So I'm measuring the, if you see this is one continuous bone, very easily you can understand, I mean there's nothing in this. This piece has come here, this piece has come here, finished. This piece has come here, this piece has come here. And what is the distance between the two pieces? 8.8. .8. We said 8 to 9, it's 8.8. .8. Now, I think it was 9 if I remember correctly and from your records. But a little variation can happen because it's a curvilinear one, right? So if I measure here, maybe it will be 9. And these measurements are very precise though, not even 10% error. So exactly what we've planned, we've achieved. I can also show you the length of the screw and all that for example. I mean it doesn't really matter but so you see it's almost engaging the second cortex. That's 8 mm. So we use 8 mm screws for that and it shows 8.4 you know very fine. So that was just to tell you that so we've got 9 mm of advancement okay. Now let's move on to the next thing. I can show you from more views. Maybe you'll have a better idea. I'll just show it to you since we're here. Similar thing here. The cut. And once again. Oh no, sorry. So once again we can measure here. How many months doctor will take for that entire thing to grow back? So you got to give it minimum of four to six weeks for bone to heal. But um, for the bone to get really solid, maybe three months, yeah, a little bit longer. So that's the scan. I'll tell you one thing uh, in the original view that we saw. Now, this is just so that you remember how the chin is. You see, it's literally on two screws and two screws. I don't put a lot of implants because you don't need to. But that means that you got to have some care. Meaning, you can't do this for a couple of months. You can't let a kid on your lap. You got to be careful. Don't sleep on the sides. Uh, with regards to diet, you can now get back to near normal diet very soon. Because after seven days, it's actually all right. The mucosa inside would have healed. So diet is not a big concern as per your concern. You can get back to normal diet even after day 10. I don't have a problem at all. But with regard to exercise, with regards to taking care of your chin, you got to make sure that it doesn't move at least for two months. And remember this is how it is. So a short hit on one of the sides can make it twist a little bit. Super firm, but I'm just telling you so you're going to be extra careful. Alright? If needed, we can get that removed. Yes, absolutely. If you want, we can take those things off after three or four months or any time later. Um, we take them off less than 2%. That is, we put in 100, we might take out 2. And... Um, most of the times so it doesn't cause any problem. In my office, we'll stand in the Nothing will happen. Nothing. I mean, it's, it's absolutely fine. But if you have a concern about why having a foreign body there, we can get it removed in a one-day procedure, meaning it's a daycare. You come in the morning, you go by evening. You're not going to stay with us, that kind of a thing. Sure. So that's something you can think of three months or later in case you want. I don't recommend. Sure. I don't think it's a great idea. But there are some people who are paranoid, they tell me, Doc, why should I have a foreign material in my body if the purpose for what we put in is over? And that's a good point. 
because the purpose is finished after two three months, then the plate simply sits there, ideal. Has no job, right? Doctor, I am your last thing that that was not. You make a call. No, it was. See, these are all cosmetic surgeries. We are doing to enhance your facial proportions. Now there will be good improvement, as I already mentioned. Wait for a few months. I don't recommend you to go for any other procedure now with me or with anyone else less than six months. So give it six months break. All of that heal. Just see how it feels. You're comfortable with it. Don't go for it. If you think, okay, I probably am okay to get a little bit more improvement like this time, then it's your call. But not before that. And in that case, then there's an opportunity to pull out the plates. This is also something which we do. Like you know, someone comes back for a rhinoplasty or for something else, and then that's an opportunity to take that off because you're getting an anesthesia again, anyways, in the real region. All right. Okay. So you have a safe trip back and um, follow our instructions. Take medications. First few days, apply the gel inside, and uh, and drop in some review when you have time. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye.